Hey guys, how are we doing? So, it's another long debate video featuring Seth the Programmer. I thought this would be interesting, because it's Sasuke versus Jiraiya. <laughs> and, um, it just as soon as I seen the matchup, I was like, whoa. And I'd also like to know, yes, this is a long video, <laughs> I have been out all day. I've been up since half six this morning, and the time of me recording is now half nine in the evening. And I was like, I just need to get this recorded and done. <laughs> I really want to see the result because <laughs> Sasuke versus Jiraiya just sounds amazing. Like, oh, Jiraiya was so powerful, and I'm hoping that like um, when it says debate with Seth's program, it doesn't usually say that in one person's going to go one side and one person's going to the other. Because otherwise, how's it a debate? <laughs> so um, let's just get straight into this. Oh, I've got my beers ready and I'm raring to go. The Sasuke versus Jiraiya debate with Seth the programmer. Well, what's going on, everybody? It's yep. Mike Kage here, and welcome to Top 5 Reasons Why Disney Should Hire Jake Paul Again. Today with me, I have Seth the Programmer uh, here to debate me on whether or not this is a fair stance to have, because, I mean, like, you really just don't know Sweet. what's going to go down if Sasuke steps on the battlefield with Jiraiya. Uh, so he's, no. he's definitely on the Jiraiya we'll side of this. I'm on the compare. Sasuke side of this. At, at the very least, he's on the, right. the Jiraiya side of this if we're talking about heavy Sasuke. I don't really know his thoughts on Five Kake Summit or EMS. I'm pretty sure he agrees with me that EMS stunts. I don't know about just the face. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, so we're, we're going to be talking about that. The majority of this video is going to be heavy sasuke versus jiraiya but we'll right. talk about the other two later because i know there are plenty of people who are just like no jiraiya uh he fucking like he wipes his ass cheeks with sasuke ems it's, you know that's uh, just how it right. is. Uh, i mean i, I just want to make this very clear uh ems sasuke absolutely obliterates sage mode jiraiya simply because right. EMS Sasuke, his Susano is like on par with like the KCM ish level or like Itachi yeah. reanimated level. Makes yeah. sense. And we know for a fact that even like fatigued, fatigued KCM Naruto without even the cape was yes. stated, he stated, you know, I'm stronger than I was when I had Sage Mode. And that Naruto that was, a was way stronger than Jiraiya, yeah. Yeah, which was way stronger than Jiraiya. It was a more mastered form. It mm -hmm. can output more power. Yeah, Jiraiya more didn't have a perfect form. It casually shit mode, out massive or Sangons. You know, the second he activated Sage Mode, Pain couldn't even scratch him, dude. Like, he would try to yeah. stab him, and he would just deflect it with his hand kind of shit. And Jiraiya, you just didn't see anything like that. No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure EMS Sasuke is just, like, fondling that, uh, that, like, regular KCM1 Naruto. Oh. KCM2, it's a completely different story. Right. Uh, once he gets, Fumbling. like, Sage Mode, he gets to, like, Hashirama levels with KCM2. Yeah. But, uh, that's not what we're talking about. We're dialing it way back to the Pain era. In before and, comments on Hashiram vs. Naruto. Yeah, we are. We already did that video, bro. I need to watch we'll that. Watch you guys it. suggested that one. <laughs> anyway, so I got a lot of flack for saying I think Heavy Sasuke could beat Jiraiya. Even Seth was like, mm, I, don't, I don't know about what was that, like? buddy. <laughs> hey, I mean, <laughs> I mean, like, I like, I get why you would say Jiraiya would probably take Sasuke out, but. There are, like, the biggest thing, like, that I just want to, you know, everybody expects me to fall back on this, like, <laughs> Kieran, you know, well, you have to say for yourself now, mister, your argument falls apart immediately. <laughs> but, not like, actually, like, what what would Jiraiya do against Kieran? Because I don't think he's a lightning type. Um, against Kieran? Well, yeah. we, we know that, for instance, Sage Mode is, does in fact increase your reaction speed yeah, to speed be at least, uh, faster, faster, faster. Gekyo level. Uh, for instance, we know that Naruto, Naruto's stronger than Jiraiya. Right, well, Naruto's Sage Mode is also significantly better. Yes. Yeah, it's a better but Sage it, Mode. It could be implied that, you know, Senjutsu in general, or like the Toad Sage Mode, most likely can yeah. sense energy. I mean, and also, if is Ma and Pa included, or, or well, what? Well, yeah, Ma and Pa, like you can say ah. with Ma and Pa and then without Ma and Pa. Okay. Well, with Mon Pa, it's more than definitely likely he can sense and probably has good reaction times. And we know that just that the Toad Sage mode in general, <laughs> like its main that. purpose was to increase your natural strength well, to give you precognition. The, the, like, the biggest difference is that Itachi being a lightning timer, like it's really impressive that he reacted to Kieran when he didn't even dodge it. 
he just activated his Susano. Jiraiya mm -hmm. would have to dodge that big ass explosion, mm -hmm. one that was right. big enough to consume the entire, and I mean like the whole goddamn entire Uchiha hideout. That yep. thing Boo. was gone after Kieran <laughs> hit it. Yeah. So um, Jiraiya would have to escape that, that. whole entire explosion. <laughs> And I like I guess you could make a case like, oh, of course he'd be able to do it. If Sasuke can get out of Data to see Zero Blast, but there was a whole lot more time between mm. Sasuke reverse summoning Manda and getting out of the, you know, and like Data's blast going off than there was between time Sasuke lowered his hand and the Kirin hit the Uchiha hideout with Itachi. You know, like that, there was a lot more than one one thousandth of a second for Sasuke to react to that. And I think that Jiraiya would have a much harder time just dodging it like it, it really like if it was possible for somebody to just move out of the way i don't, I don't think sasuke would have fucking made the jutsu in the first place <laughs> yeah. well to talk about the first argument we know that tendo pain is much yeah. more powerful than itachi at least that's right itachi uh tendo yeah. pain without a doubt is factually a lightning timer there's no there's yeah. no doubt in my mind yes uh, he was capable of fighting sage naruto even when he was completely weakened and of course in the rain village that pain was godly because yeah I mean, he didn't, he didn't have, he wasn't using his full power Shinra Tenseis or catastrophic or planetary devastation because that would hurt the village. Yeah, it would destroy but, the village. But Tendo Pain didn't even fight Uriah. No, That's he did not. Thing. You're right, you're right. But all the other pains are generally linked the same way. Um, yeah. Well, the thing about that is all the other pains are way weaker because Naruto dealt with them like no difficulty in safe <laughs> mode. Bum, and bum. then suddenly like the diva path is like throwing hands with the fucking <laughs> like safe tailed naruto and it's like jesus whoa what what is with this gigantic strength difference um, yeah uh i'd argue the main reason that happened is definitely because like as the pains died nagato's concentration was more focused as well one. and then he was moving tendo closer to him and in the rain well, village, all the pains are like there like they were yeah. all they all had like full power they're all really close to nagato they weren't fatigued or slowing down like they were in the leaf village they didn't just have a fucking shinra tensei bomb go off that destroyed right. the village. That, the other thing about that though is that you know you you can make the case that they were all significantly more powerful and it is a good point to bring up that the diva path was like way stronger because all of the other paths of pain had right, gone down gone. so nagato was able to focus more of his chakra into just point. the one body but even before the other paths of pain had been taken out the diva path still had way more impressive feats like he of course walked kakashi and uh like everybody who was helping kakashi out he destroyed the whole leaf village i think yeah. so that's uh that's, that's obvious i mean like the, the tendo pain couldn't be fucking stopped even with all of the other people you know still around him and i i don't think that you know these these other paths of pain that got pretty much one shot by naruto would make that much of a difference that would put him on like a whole different level like e you know even even with this theory in mind i think he's significantly more powerful than they are so you right. know jiraiya wouldn't have stood a chance against the diva pattern even if he fought him in the same circumstances that naruto did uh the main the main thing about like tendo pain sorry i'm looking yes. for this data book scan on guy real quick because uh, like there is a scan that says like uh he punches like lightning but any yeah. but regardless of that if uh kakashi <laughs> Chidori or lightning blade this book. is in fact a lightning says, timer technique and we do know yeah. that even fodder pain that was like uh what was it the mecha pain i forgot what fucking yeah that uh, that's awesome. that, we know not, what you're talking about <laughs> that's not a fodder path that's one of the strongest paths of pain but yeah the ostra path yeah the ostra path so the ostra path did jump in front of lightning uh the lightning blade yeah. uh which is a lightning timer technique even when kakashi was younger and basically out of chakra at least in the anime but we do yeah. know even in the manga it's just stated he was able to tag lightning with it so i don't feel like lightning is even really that fast in the naruto verse when you're a, like an s-class ninja i think I, I also i also want to argue this that Kieran is probably faster than Lightning. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Kieran is probably like way faster because right, yeah. Zetsu was like shitting himself and like Itachi was just like, yeah, if I didn't have my Susano, I would have died. I wouldn't have been able to move out of the way. I do think that he does manipulate it with his chakra and proof yeah. of this is that it's, despite Itachi reacting to one set of Kieran in like earlier on when he's like half dead, Naruto in six paths in the anime gets smacked right to the fish filler. But yeah. he gets smacked uh, with the six paths, Kieran. And yeah. so it's more than likely that the stronger you are, the faster your Kieran is. And it's now, probably, again, this depends on whether you want to take the filler into consideration because that was yes. a filler scene. But, like, if you're going straight manga, it, it, it's really up in the air. But if yeah. you want to use that anime scene, then yeah, you, it's probably it's, like. 
it's yeah. definitely not just lightning either. I mean, the the thing's literally a fucking dragon. Like, come yeah. on, <laughs> it's not just lightning. There's well, something Itachi out there. saw it and like, see, Itachi thought lightning that he was just gone. gonna like have to go out like a bitch against Sasuke, and he was looking for some way to not make it really obvious that he was holding back. And like, he was just like, oh, okay, Sasuke's about to use his final jutsu. What's this? And he did not expect to see fucking a gigantic lightning dragon. Like, like, yeah. Oh, Whoa. Sasuke made. This. <laughs> oh God, yeah. I might actually Oops. die. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, at by that logic, it's kind of more like up in the air per se. Yeah. Uh, we don't know the exact speed of Kieran anymore. We do know that it's above lightning, bare minimum, because it's using lightning. Uh, yeah, it's faster probably than faster than lightning. Sound. Although in Sasuke's case, since he was out of chakra, it might have been more around lightning level. Yeah. And. The, the other argument is that also Sasuke probably wouldn't use Kirin unless he was out of chakra. That's like the main reason he used it. It's more like an out of chakra kind of technique. To right. control I, I you feel like tired. But, another thing is that he might just see like there's nothing that's going to get to Jiraiya that like isn't fucking Kirin. Like he might just yeah. be like, I'm not going to waste time and expend all this chakra. I'm just going to use Kirin and then boom. Because I'm going to I'm gonna be real with you. Sage mode is a much bigger boost than KC. Yeah. Like, that's, as we know, KCM2 is, like, in part one, it was basically, like, one-tailed cloak level. And then in, like, right. in part two, it's obviously, like, much stronger as Sasuke's base is a lot stronger. Mm -hmm. But the multiplier itself. You mean CM2? Curse Mark 2? KCM2 yeah. is, uh... Uh, yeah, I'm saying, my yeah. bad. I'm saying, yeah. I was about to be like, wait, Sage Mode is not KCM2. We, we, we had, we were recording, uh, Minato versus Toby Yeah. Right? <laughs> so, CM2, yeah, no, Sage Mode is a much bigger boost than CM2. That's, that's, Mark, a, yeah. that's a fact. Yeah, definitely. But, uh, one thing that you brought up to me is that Sasuke's base is crazy. It's very strong. Yeah, so, like, Naruto, like, fucking smacks the shit out of Orochimaru and three-tailed. And then Orochimaru just, like, laughs, and he's yeah, like, just, like, you're never going to beat Sasuke, dude. <laughs> and, now, there are a whole lot of ways you can interpret this. One, at full power without Orochimaru absorbed, Sasuke is stronger Sorry, I'm than slightly distracted now. Naruto. My friend yeah. just sent uh, me a really two, funny picture on my phone. Base Sasuke. I will is stronger than three-tailed okay. Naruto, meaning that his CM2 is Base ten times stronger. Uh, and then times. he absorbs Jesus. Orochimaru and gets even stronger than that. The third way you can interpret this is that Orochimaru knew Naruto had more tail like stages at his disposal mm -hmm. that he could transform into and still thought that Sasuke would win. Like if he went up against four tailed Naruto uh, Sasuke would still win. Orochimaru could have been confident in that. There's no real right. way to pinpoint what he was talking about. But I do think that the second possibility is the least likely. I just don't think that Sasuke in base is the retail level. Probably not. <laughs> Probably. And even that, like, it's not necessarily about scaling here because Sasuke is a much more tactical fighter than he is a physical one. Yeah. But Orochimaru. Not fucking saying going. that Sasuke and base could take out three tails. That's silly. You know, like even Datoro who gave well, Sasuke kind of shit on Datoro, but still Datoro even even he saw like two tails and like booked it out of there. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, uh, it is worth keeping in mind that Sasuke is at least three tailed level without Orochimaru absorbed. With Orochimaru absorbed, he gets this big boost big and boost. he's he's probably like at four tailed and Jiraiya got fucked by kid four tailed Naruto. <laughs> and you know, again, this was probably base. He wasn't in sage mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, it's, it's 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 worth keeping in mind. Yeah. Uh, so Jiraiya, I was watch actually watching some scenes about that, and yeah. it seemed like Jiraiya, like he like leaped at Naruto with like a ceiling tag, and he got blasted away across the forest. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it did seem like. You know, he was more bent on uh, sealing him. Although sealing him, still, not, yeah, he wasn't trying to attack him. Yeah, he, he was still using his full power. He was yeah, like, regardless. there's a difference between holding back and yeah. going full power without killer intent. You know, they, they like, you can still use all of your strength, just not be attempting to kill somebody, especially in Naruto, uh, yeah. where there are a whole lot of moves that don't aim to kill. I'd also argue that Orochimaru wasn't uh, referring to Sasuke being able to beat Naruto with higher tails, simply because right. Orochimaru... It's possible. It's not uh, something that you can outright dismiss, but yeah. Um, Orochimaru that. underestimated the four tails because he thought yeah. he could kill him with the... What is it called? The Kusanagi sword, I believe. Yeah. And like, uh, he's like, what? The sword won't even penetrate him. Like, he thought he yeah. could actually stab him with it. So he, well, did. he also thought he was about to stop that big fucking, like, Biju bomb cannon yeah. thing with the triple yeah. Rashomon, and, and that no. didn't work either. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And also, the difference between the four tailed and the three tailed is that the four tailed is actually version two cloak. 
which is yeah. like an extra increase on top of an so extra many tail multipliers and shit. Version when it comes two to these debates. Version one, even though they have the same tails, version two will be stronger as shown with B yeah. versus Kisame. So that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, at that point, it becomes a little difficult to argue that Sasuke would be four-tailed level, and I would right, argue. Yeah, I, I don't think so. I was just saying that these are the possible ways you could look at it. Yeah, it is. It is really. You gotta like, try and gauge it somehow. <laughs> not, that's yeah. really reaching, but still. Yeah. I mean, you, maybe you could argue that he could. Like maybe like with Curse Mark two and like to the fucking death, and he somehow yeah. manages to beat four-tailed Naruto and. Yeah. Maybe with fucking Kieran, even, right? Or well, um, another, another thing, too, is that even, like, you know, Sasuke's base, like, when he fought Naruto in the Valley of the End, like, it, it was in a cloak, but he was still using the Nine-Tailed Chakra. Yeah. He yeah. was smacking the shit out of this kid. Yep. He only had to use CM2 when Naruto went one-tailed, and by that point, Sasuke was significantly more powerful because the um, the Rasengan was much stronger than the Chidori. Um, the only reason that Sasuke was able to go like toe to toe with Naruto uh, with in, in that Chidori versus Rasengan clash at the beginning of the battle in the Valley of the End is because Sasuke was naturally much stronger. Like even without a Sharingan, he was kicking the shit out of this kid. So, and, um, you know, the, the Rasengan like it was made very apparent at the beginning of that arc that if Sasuke and Naruto had clashed on top of the hospital, Sasuke would have fucking That's died, and that would have. <laughs> It. Also, Sashi it's, froze oh, them. My bad. I'm sorry, but no, no, sorry. It's just Sasuke had to have gotten much stronger than Naruto with the uh, the the level two of the curse mark. Yes. Um, in that clash. So you know, I, I guess I, I don't really know why I'm talking about this because this is just like one tail. But <sighs> like the the point is that Sasuke definitely like exceeded one tail, and then like the gap between base Sasuke and base Naruto got way bigger from part one to ship it in. Yeah, I mean, uh, Sasuke soloed all of Team 7, basically, right. without Kakashi. But yeah. uh, I just wanted to say this. So, yeah. I, you're right. I agree that uh, the Chidori was weaker than the Rasengan in part one. Although, I do feel like it was retconned, like, in late Shippuden. Like, when you have, like, Naruto and Sasuke clashing Chidori and Rasengan, like, obviously they're more, like, hmm. equal, even though they're just beating the shit well, out of each other and they're, like, on equal terms. It are you talking like... about in the Valley of the End? Because... To be fair, uh, Sasuke actually had every edge, and they equaled out. Sasuke had combined his Chidori with a Matarasu, like he fused <laughs> Intuan into it, and he was also falling. Naruto had to jump up and shove yeah. his Rasengan into the air. I'm sure you've used this as an argument or something Sasuke else before. Sasuke was falling down. Like, he had every fucking... Oh, yeah, it was the Sasuke and Naruto. With Naruto. Yeah, they kind of like blew each other's arms off, and then it's shown yes. like in their other clash, like... For instance, when they're uh, yeah, the Naruto five doesn't even have like arc. a transform like, yeah, the five Kage it. summit. It is Sasuke. Definitely. Sasuke is even like even though he's blind, he's like kind of slapping around Kakashi, like yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, and it's like Naruto. Naruto is definitely like Kakashi tier by that point, although probably only with Shadow Clones and the Ross and Shuriken. I don't think base to base Naruto is stronger. Yeah. I don't yeah, think base no. Naruto was way weaker than base yeah. Sasuke. There. And, yeah, and they, were, they still equaled out. So. Yeah, they still equaled out. So it's like, it, it's a little inconsistent, although I will agree. Uh -huh. Yeah, like the Chidori is probably weaker than the Rasengan, but still. Uh -huh. like, yeah. yeah so that, that's that's a good way to illustrate the, uh, the differences can between use the resin, you know, yeah. Sasuke <laughs> and um, other people. That's another thing that I actually wanted to talk about is Jiraiya would probably like beat Sasuke in like a Rasengan Chidori clash, especially right, yeah. if he pulls out the massive Rasengan. Look the massive that's Rasengan that would one-shot <laughs> honestly anything <laughs> Sasuke has, in my opinion. I but think... Sasuke is definitely fast enough to dodge it. Sasuke is really fast. Like, relative to the pain arc, right, I'm just gonna say, you know, okay. Sasuke was one of the fastest characters in the series. Like, this is before we got introduced to people like fucking the Raikage and yeah. all of them. Like, at this point, Sasuke was one of the fastest you people. Yes, I don't think that that's an outlandish claim to make. Uh, like, so, he, he absolutely was. Fucking, yeah, he, he shook like Datara. Yeah, I mean, if Sasuke is like above three tails with the curse mark yeah. too, uh, you can maybe maybe argue he could beat the four tails like yeah. roughly. Um, which I I don't know if I agree with simply because like uh, you know he was like oh Rochimaru was stronger than me when yeah. I killed him kind of thing. Yeah, uh, but then he absorbed yeah. Rochimaru and see it never made apparent how much of a buff Bo that yeah, gave him. How much did it improve? It's like, like a like... stamina thing. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Well, he uh, got access to some of Orochimaru's jutsu, like the uh, the Orochimaru-style substitution and the white snakes, yeah. Um, he would probably actually be able to catch Jiraiya off guard by using some of Orochimaru's techniques. He wouldn't expect Jiraiya it, would probably understand how they work well enough to start countering them. Yeah, I mean, he's fought the original. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. So, in my opinion, if Ma and Pa are there, I just see absolutely no way he will win, regardless. I think even, like, for example... 
uh, Ma and Pa, they have, like, the water gun jutsu that can, like, slice yeah. in half like, yeah. pain summonings and shit, like, the instantaneously. Thing is, like, it just the doesn't thing is, like it. The thing about Sasuke is that I'm pretty sure he'd be able to kill Ma and Pa without too much of a problem. The, the well, pains that Jiraiya was fighting well. didn't really have ranged attacks, and Sasuke has very pinpoint precision ranged attacks, like the Chidori Senban and Chidori Eso, uh, the Chidori Sharp Spear. He's also, like, if if Jiraiya attempts to attack him from, like, any direction off close, Sasuke also has Chidori Nagashi, you know, Chidori Stream, which uh, he can use to blow Jiraiya back and paralyze him. In close quarters combat, Sasuke can paralyze Jiraiya with his sword. Now, this is all depending on whether or not hmm. Sasuke can actually strike Jiraiya in you know, safe mode, which, you know, that is, it is a bit difficult to, to argue that he would be able to because of how fast Jiraiya would be, yeah. but I don't think Mon Pa would be too much of a problem because, again, Sasuke has Chidori Senban and Chidori yeah, but... Aso, and if he need, <laughs> since he needs to get a little bit close, I think it's like 5 meters or 10 meters the limit for Chidori Aso, he can just use the Orochimaru style substitution jutsu to just survive whatever it is Jiraiya throws at him as mm. soon as he kills either Ma or Pa. Like, he has plenty of ranged jutsu at the very least he, he can use his fire style jutsu, and I mentioned this to you before we started recording, but um, Sasuke and Itachi had a fireball jutsu clash during right. the Uchiha hideout battle. And now it is debatable whether or not Sasuke actually won this clash because Itachi could have very well been holding back. But, like, Sasuke did overpower Itachi's fireball and force him to use a Matarasu. Yeah. And if he's a better fire release user mm -hmm. than Itachi, <laughs> there's no <sighs> way Jiraiya's stopping him in fire style combat. Jiraiya has earth release, water release, fire release, and wind release. He has everything mm -hmm. but lightning at his disposal. Mm -hmm. So he is capable of countering fire with water and uh, lightning with wind. Mm -hmm. But I I'm pretty sure that Sasuke could figure out many ways around this. The thing, like, I know people are going to get mad at me for saying this, but I think it's safe to say Sasuke is a smarter fighter than Jiraiya. Jiraiya is a very smart guy, don't get me wrong. That comes with wisdom, mm. not being a natural genius the way Sasuke yep. is. Mm. Well, here's something That's... about heavy Sasuke, or like the Sasuke yeah, that Jiraiya's took on very Itachi. The Sasuke that took on Itachi, even though Sasuke, well, Itachi was like half dead, yeah, he obliterated both Orochimaru Hydra, and he obliterated, he was, Obito was like, yeah, if Itachi was serious, you'd be gone. And the thing about that is really interesting is that Pain versus Jiraiya was a completely different case, even though Pain in the manga was stated yeah. as the most powerful member of the Akatsuki, probably hyping him up. I mean, we could argue, you know, with hacks, yeah, she could probably maybe win or maybe pull him off. Or but maybe Pain is definitely the physically most powerful, yeah. yeah. And the fact that Pain was, it was possible for Jiraiya to maybe even beat Pain, and, you know, Itachi was just good, 100% without an absolute doubt, even when sick and dying, would have beat Sasuke if he was serious, really just adds a lot of doubt in my mind. And, right. like, for example, there's also some, uh, Overlook jutsus of Jiraiya, like escape jutsus, like you know the underworld swamp jutsus yeah. that were the capable of emerging, and like the uh, the big like fucking toad mouth you can jutsu. Summon yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was capable stuff. of you know submerging the whole area and you know frog fucking dude, like guts. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's just his jutsu arsenal is insane, and I mean, in a raw attack potency, even I'm gonna that, say this like with attaching, I know you're probably I mean, not gonna like this, off, but if he shoots a Kirin at Jiraiya, in terms of the lore and feats. Yeah. The massive Rasengan from a sage is stronger than Kirin. I don't know because about that. The Uchiha hideout is like mountain sized and it exploded. <laughs> the massive Rasengan was only stated to be able to like Debate. carve into the Debate. side of the mountain. Debate. And this was by the data book, which isn't the most accurate. Data book claims that, uh, that Sasuke is also stronger than every member of the Akatsuki. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> by that stuff. logic. Sasuke would be able to destroy Jiraiya, but, you know, looking, not true. Looking well, at the, uh, the Uchiha hideout, it's more, like, hill-sized. Looking at some scans, I don't see anything really <laughs> like it's a massive not a mountain, mountain, it's a hill. like the B-Shewer reference. And what <laughs> I mean, it looks like it's about the size oh, of a debate, mountain, that's debate, why. Although, debate. I'm, not, I'm not seeing any scans of that, it's definitely more hill-sized. Yeah. I'm looking at it, and yeah, I really, let's like argue about whether it's a hill or a mountain. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely, the trees actually have really good awesome. size compared to it yeah. on the cliffside. It's definitely not a mountain, but... Regardless, what I meant by feeds as well oh, is like even the <laughs> even the massive saying on versus the nine tails, which don't even get me started on the nine tails. Yeah. Right, this thing is way way beyond mountain level. Was even affected by the massive Versengon from Naruto, which that was like a billion of them. No, no, though, no. Even 
even before, like when he was just like when he shot one of them <sighs> at the nine tails tail, it actually bent his tail downward a little bit. And it's like this thing's capable of just shitting on mountain busters. You just get this really bad impression that the even to be fair, like, I'm pretty sure that Kieran would have done a whole lot more to the nine tails than that. Especially if it was launched by somebody as strong as Sage Naruto, because Naruto uh, has way Sage, better physical strength. Sage but, Naruto, sure, but like, uh, I don't see Sasuke hurting the Nine Tails at all. I mean, for instance, I'm, how is how is how, how is how is half dead Itachi with an incomplete skeletal Susano tanking? He blocked Kira. it with the Yadamira. He didn't tank it. He blocked it with the Yadamira and then reverted to skeletal Susano. Is there any scans of him with the Yada beer? That, it was supposed to be implied. I'm pretty sure that's that's right. because <laughs> no, because he had to like charge it up after he reactivated the Sano. Because like for instance, uh, the when he activated it slowly for the first time, all told, and it went to the yeah. armor, and then he activates the shield and sword, and there just doesn't. It seems to have like a little bit of a time lapse. You don't really get that. Well, I'm pretty sure that was, that was done. That wasn't done to imply that Itachi activated the skeletal Susano and tanked Kieran. It was done more for the sake of implying, okay, this is how the Susano works. It has multiple stages like this, and it was showing the audience, because I refuse to believe that he tanked the Kieran with incomplete skeletal Susano and then was, like, damaged by the fucking eight-headed serpent jutsu, like, just shoving into him. Because, again, that shit blew up the entire Uchiha hideout, and there was, like, nothing well, left up. Well, the eight-headed eight serpent is, like, sage level, as we argued, in, like, Orochimaru's Dry. That shit could be, like, right. level two. And, like, right, but yeah. it just shoved into the Susano and, like, pushed Itachi back. That's what into I'm saying. It's, into his Yadamir, but yeah. Yeah, so I, I really... I don't see the incomplete skeletal Susano being completely unaffected by fucking Kirin. And right. I really doubt that, a, that like, a massive Rasengan would be able to block it. It's not like Sasuke would just throw it into the Rasengan. He would just be like, all right, let me lob it at the ground and no. blow everything else up. And then Jiraiya would be caught in the explosion. Still. No, my, my argument was, Ooh. like, in retort, Jiraiya would use the Rasengan if that was the case. But, like, well, Sasuke could just, like, aim it somewhere that Jiraiya has no hope of, like, hitting it from and i don't think jiraiya is fast enough to like jump into it and form a gigantic rasengan right, yeah. in response yeah. i don't think he would have any idea what's happening until it was too late because he would like see the gigantic lightning dragon and then he would be like he oh fuck let me form a rasengan <laughs> and then everything would explode although i do i still don't think the kieran would even hurt him i mean like if it's only destroying the uchiha hideout which is a hill i mean i don't even think it destroyed the entire thing because there's actually feats of Roshimaru destroying <laughs> some of the hideout when he's in his surfer form i've seen some debates on that but like regardless of what you think i mean if the if the cash if just a was massive or or just a leave it in the attack, comments below it's not, it doesn't have to be set up <laughs> it's not some bullshit he literally just pooped it out against the pain his mountain level is capable of like even like, affecting the nine tails whatsoever even a little and i don't i don't think it's mountain level like if dry shoved it into a mountain it wouldn't have blown the whole thing up well it's attack potency that's how they're saying on Twitter. it's like saying that six pass naruto is only no, like gotcha. but like again like it's, it's big, the same big, thing like like uh, you mentioned in your kakashi video like kakashi has like town level attack potency with the yeah, like 500 and elephants almost <laughs> it's crazy a, a town is way bigger than the uchiha hideout and that's like yes. saying that kirin is weaker than chidori like that's definitely not true at all uh, well, kirin just, is probably way stronger than hill level like you could say it's probably mountain level attack potency if you like it, it really just depends there's no real way to pinpoint how strong it is versus how strong the massive for singon is and the uh like another thing oh, okay. too is that the naruto that hit the nine tails with the massive for singon way more powerful than the Jiraiya who we're talking about fighting Sasuke here. Uh, the Odama Rasengan that Naruto used against the uh, the Nine Tails, that's like comparable to the gigantic Rasengan that Jiraiya pulled out against Pain. And like if it was capable of like blowing up a mountain or whatever, and he could just shove it into any of the paths and they would die, I don't see why he didn't just do that then. So no, no, oh, definitely the, not. One that does, like that absorbs chakra. Oh, no, the pains are insane. Yeah. They're, they're heavily downplayed. I mean, for instance... No, Kona Amaru took out one of them with a single Rasengan, and Naruto took one of like took out the Asura path, which is one of the most durable ones with a single punch. Yeah, I mean, the problem yeah, is, is that the Rasengan, they're not more durable than the Nine Tail. The problem is that the, the pains have hacks. Like, for instance, absorbing Ross and Shuriken, or pain, his Shinra Tensei was so powerful, right? That it yeah. just it just deflected the Ross and Shuriken. Yeah. Like it just completely yeah. nullified it completely. And well, this that's Shuriken this is, melted this is, the Nine Tails. It melted yeah. it. Like, the Nine Tails was turning well, into pure chakra. Is, it. Like, so then if pain the was Rasengan, hit by that, he would have died. Kobar. But he was able to no doubt. Deflect it. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's that's the difference here. I don't think Jiraiya has the same like durability as the Nine Tails just because he can create a massive Rasengan. Oh, I wasn't so, saying that. Wasn't yeah, saying. so like if Sasuke, and I think if Sasuke again like threw a Kirin at the QB, it would definitely be at least affected by it. And I I just can't imagine Jiraiya fucking tanking this thing. Like, Orochimaru was just like, yeah, you're going to fucking kill everybody if you drop that here. There is absolutely no need for you to do that. That was Sasuke's, like, ace in the hole. I know yeah. it would have killed, like, any of the Akatsuki Hughes. Did not, like, he, it probably would have killed, like, Kakazu, Deidara, you know, all of these people. And I don't see why Jiraiya just has, like, this like this thick, like, iron skin that makes him more durable by, like, a significant margin than any of these other people. Well, like, I think the only problem here is Kieran. I think when it comes to anything else, Jiraiya is yeah. obviously stopping. But, like, the, my problem with Kieran here is well, that like, obviously. <laughs> it's more, like, assumption-based because, yeah. for instance, we don't know the exact <laughs> attack potency. Excuse All me. we know is that Itachi survived it with Susana. I mean, you could be like, oh, Yadamir, or you could say... Oh, right, he, yeah, he, it's, he it's really up to headcanon. And, and then it's, like, it's really headcanon-ish. And then, for instance, like, the Nine Tails is not... Susano level at all. He will right. he will take on the perfect Susano. Yeah. Like he will yeah. take on a perfect Susano, not some half-assed Itachi but, like, armor Susano. Like Itachi it, would be able to deflect the Biju bomb with the Yadamira though. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Yep. So it's like, and it, by my by my opinion, it seems yeah. unlikely that Itachi shat out the full armor Susano with the shield in an instant. When right after that. It was shown delayed, you know, going from skeleton he, to armor. To another shield. thing, though, he is that he can yeah. use the Yadamir without the full armored Susano. He's done it before. Yes, that's very true. Although, like I said, it's just you just got to assume kind of thing. And it's like Itachi yeah. is kind of like half dead. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. no he's on his way out. Yadamir. He's just like, all right. Like you saw how fucking scared of it he was. I'd probably be like, all right, yeah, let me let me bust this thing out real and quick. Here's and then he like, got rid of it. I think that if Itachi did have the Yadamir, his his face and ass wouldn't be on the ground. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he fell face first into the ground. If he had That's the Yadamir, probably because he like threw up the Yadamir in the middle of the like the explosion. Maybe to like block it or something. Yeah, that's like, what I'm saying. Like that's probably why it wasn't up, because like he got like fucked up because he threw it up too late. And so, like, it knocked him on his ass, and the Susano went down for a split second. Like, but, like that's another way you could look yeah. at it. But again, this that's, is all like very head cannon based. That's like a that's lot of like, implied, so but big. like a whole lot of the stuff. Like, there's nothing in the manga that directly implies. Yeah, if Jiraiya yeah, were to slam you. this Rasengan in the fucking, <laughs> you know, like a mountain, it just wouldn't be able to handle it, and it would like collapse or whatever. But what about no, hell? I mean, like Rasengan <laughs> is shown cutting down trees. The main, thing, the main thing I was gonna get at with Sasuke though is that he just has so many different methods of paralyzing Jiraiya, and he's a very tactical fighter. Uh, you didn't really say anything about me saying that I think Sasuke's smarter, so I, I don't know if you disagree with me or whatever. Uh, Jirai is definitely a wiser person, but I think Sasuke this is has, gonna be interesting. You know, like, he has more raw intelligence. I think Jirai is... He's, um, he's a lot better at problem solving, smarter. you know, and like figuring shit it's out. It's just his like, cockiness that disguises and, whereas it. Whereas Jiraiya is a much wiser and more experienced driven Not person. Not what I mean? Like, he knows way he's funny. more. Uh, Sasuke's just like, he has more raw brain power. Experience is greater than intuition yeah. any day. I mean, yeah, I, I get what you mean, but Sasuke is better at like formulating strategies because of that. Is what I'm saying. At, at, the, at the very least, on the fly, like, like Jiraiya probably has a set series of plans in his head that he pulls out in certain situations, whereas Sasuke is capable of creating them in the middle of a battle. Like for instance, I just want to make an example. Like if you have great like fight intuition, that's yeah. really great. You know, you might have like a naturally great stance. You might have naturally strong punches, but you're not gonna learn eons of martial arts just because you have intuition. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I don't it, know. Next, it happens in anime Jiraiya's all got the so time. Much more experience. <laughs> Goku bad on Vegeta. It, and Vegeta had way more training. Sasuke than Goku didn't ever, experience any kind yeah, of like uh, wars you, or anything. I would well, find no, more people Goku had like more, uh, martial arts Jiraiya was. was. No, I think like Vegeta had more and better training because he grew up a Saiyan. He was probably trained every single day. Oh my god, the way doing a Dragon Ball. But this is definitely <laughs> way off. This is way off. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I guess this has definitely devolved into I think Sasuke would win. I think Jiraiya would win. And we both have decent arguments for why. It, it really just depends on how you view either character. So, what are, what are your thoughts on fucking Five Kage Summit? But actually, actually, before we get into that, just what is your like final thesis about Heavy Sasuke versus Jiraiya? Like, get, like, just put everything out on the table. Like, bend me over, pull down my pants, and fuck me with the butt with your final argument. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, final argument. Only because you are so nice. Heavy <laughs> Sasuke. Uh, Sasuke that trained with Orochimaru with Curse Mark 2 is above Three Tails level. Orochimaru underestimated version 2, Four Tailed Naruto. It couldn't even pierce him with the Kusanagi sword. Version 2. Uh, Four Tail Naruto would absolutely obliterate Curse Mark 2, but if you gave him Orochimaru, I don't see Orochimaru cells giving him more stamina, just like boosting his power by like six to ten times, you know, more. It just seems more like a stamina increase per se. And another example, a good example of that is Datara running away from, you know, Two Tailed Naruto when he was pissed yeah. off, and yet Sasuke's kind of like duking it out with him and trying to outsmart him. And of course, we know that, you know, Jiraiya using the data books is stated to, you know, have mountain level. Mountain level, you know, Rasengan. Mountain level. The Kirin is the only thing that can actually <laughs> damage us, you know, a pain or sage level fighter, in my opinion. But even then, it's like, uh, it could. Was it blocked by the skeletal Susano? Was it blocked by the Yadamir? What was it blocked by? It just seems you really yeah. gotta use a lot of assumption to find out how strong the Kirin is. And then we know, you know, that sages, you know, are capable of somewhat of fighting against the Nine Tails. Obviously, they're not nearly as powerful. But with right. the Rasengan, which amplify their power a lot, it does. A, they're able to amplify their strength a lot more. I don't see Kieran hurting a, a nine tails that might be on like per, almost perfect Susano. In my opinion, I just really don't. I think I'm biased because uh, Jiraiya is one of my level, favorite saying, characters. Yeah, saying so. God is extremely powerful. So other than that, I mean, I could see you know Sasuke using some paralysis hacks, but I also see that you know Jiraiya has his own hacks. I see he has Genjutsu. I see he has Underworld yeah. Swamp. He I see only that he has Genjutsu through Mon Pa. I will correct you there. Yes, yeah, but no. you were saying he could if, use them. If he has Mon Pa, then you were yes, saying he, he could Genjutsu use them. Capable of soloing pain if he was there. Yeah. Uh, uh, and you know he has Senbon. He has you know numerous Jutsu. He also has his own summonings. I don't. He might have more the summonings, summonings would be than Sasuke, helpful. which might come in handy. I don't want to. He do. definitely does. Yeah, yeah he can summon like might, three, might come in four handy different well. toads. Top of Mon Pa and Mon Pa are probably stronger than base Naruto bare minimum. I mean, they were kind of like dick on him i think stage naruto actually spawned with paw if i if correct me if i'm wrong but uh, uh, a little bit yeah, yeah but a little like, he, he, pro he was probably holding back you know yes yeah. it's, it's probably uh popo versus goten and trunks type deal there <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean, another dragon ball just goes Raya just has good with so it. <laughs> much going on for him i'm not lying you know sasuke's got a hell of ninjutsu but i i'm arguing i'm gonna argue this i'm gonna say that they're both they both have like a a lot of ninjutsu, but in terms of power and experience, Jiraiya has more. Absolutely, it just yeah. seems like Jiraiya just has oh, more going yes. on for him. I just, that's all I gotta say. All right, my final argument is, uh, well, first of all, uh, so you actually uh. kind of covered a lot of bases that I was gonna jump on here. You know, like uh, the whole power thing. You know, Sasuke being like fucking. He's definitely. I I know for a fact, like he's definitely not like beating four tailed Naruto in a fucking arm wrestling match. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Like, that is retarded to claim. But the fact that Orochimaru, like, took the full force of Naruto's attack, like, head on, and he's been with Sasuke for three years, and he was like, you're never going to beat Sasuke. And yeah. he said it with such confidence. It's like, Sasuke could probably tear three-tailed Naruto apart. Uh, that doesn't really say much about Sasuke's ability to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Jiraiya, no. but it does make it pretty evident that the physical gap between the two of them, especially in base, is not gigantic. As a matter of fact, I think base to base they're pretty comparable Even. but it, you know the thing is sage mode it gives such like it's just a much bigger fucking um buff than just two does uh the big the biggest problem that jiraiya is going to run into is sasuke's genjutsu if he takes care of ma and pa jiraiya is gonna like it, sasuke is gonna have a fucking field day on this guy jiraiya. i don't know how much experience jiraiya has with dealing with sharingan based genjutsu I'm but sure sasuke has some of the it. best genjutsu feats in the series not that he's like the best at using genjutsu or whatever maybe but you know even with his limited sharingan based arsenal, he's able to pull off some crazy uh, shit like tricking mm. gonzo a guy with like 12 sharingan in the thing <laughs> <laughs> that he could still use yeah. Izanagi in the middle of battle. He was able to trick Daedara, a guy who had trained specifically to resist Mongekyo Sharingan tier Genjutsu. Yeah. Uh, like, that that was crazy. Like, Daedara was like, yeah, I'm immune to Genjutsu. Sasuke Genjutsu to me anyway. It was stupid. Yeah. Mon Pa will likely be able to break Jiraiya out of this. I will, I'll definitely give you that. But that's, like, the thing is, I guarantee Sasuke would be able to get them with, like, Senbon. At the very least, he'd be able to get them off of Jiraiya's body somehow. There are just so many ways 
that Sasuke could figure out to deal with this guy. Like, he figured out how Daedara's minds worked in two seconds and then immediately forced Daedara's whole plan to fall apart. Like, the guy laid an entire minefield underground. Sasuke was like, all right, I got how these things work. He gets blasted by this big... And I, I'm going to throw a panel up here on the screen of this big ass blast that Sasuke casually tanked in CM2 because like his his durability is nothing to laugh at. Um no, but like Tater dropped hits. this big like bomb ass attack on Sasuke. He tanks it, his sword gets quote unquote sent flying. Sasuke actually threw it to disable the landmines. He jumps up, cuts off the wing of Dator's dragon, forces Dator to get blown up by his own minds. And I just I can't see Jiraiya thinking of something that fucking crazy on the fly like that. Um, Jiraiya's seen a whole lot. I know he's much smarter than Dator, but he doesn't have the intuition that Sasuke has. And I know Orochimaru has <laughs> imparted a whole bunch of his wisdom into Sasuke by now. Not to say that Sasuke is as like fucking experienced or seasoned as Orochimaru. He knows what he's doing on the battlefield. Like, so, you know, he's got Genjutsu, and it wouldn't be enough just to use, like, Genjutsu and Paralysis. Jiraiya would still, like, shit on him if not for those things. The biggest, like, crutch to my argument here is that Kieran is Sasuke's ace in the hole, and Jiraiya has plenty, and I mean, like, plenty of fucking fire jutsu at his disposal. Yep. They're gonna cause some fucking ash to rise into the air. They're gonna create thunderclouds. Jiraiya's not gonna understand what he's done. Sasuke's gonna drop Kirin. And he's gonna, like, if Jiraiya shows that he has any way of avoiding this thing, Sasuke is gonna figure out a way to, uh, to make sure Jiraiya it. can't stop it. And then, boom, Jiraiya's dead. And all of this is even assuming that Sasuke lets him enter Sage mode. The thing is, Sasuke can go CM2 on the fly just like that. Jiraiya takes five entire minutes. And that is a bit of a cop out to be like, oh, CM2 beats base Jiraiya. You know, that's kind of not fair. And if we, you know, if we assume Jiraiya goes Sage mode, I still think Sasuke has a chance, albeit. It would be very high difficulty, and I'm definitely willing to concede that Sage Jiraiya could beat him. But base mode Jiraiya probably loses. Actually, I agree. definitely I agree. loses if Sasuke doesn't let him get into Sage mode. And I, yeah, I'm pretty it. sure that you'd agree that it's very possible Sasuke won't let him get into Sage mode. I think it definitely depends on the battlefield, almost. Yeah. Like, for instance, like uh, if they were in the Rain Village, Jiraiya would have a much better chance. Yeah, like he was hiding in pipes, he was dipping. Yeah. Like, okay, the Rain Village is do retardedly complex. Like, right, but if they were in like the open field that he fought Datara in, in yeah. or in the Uchiha hideout, no, nah, there's no fucking way not to get Jiraiya would have to like flee to maybe like his fucking yeah. frog realm or something <laughs> like uh, and, I, and but but my last point is kieran's definitely not some like fucking fodder attack like i just can't see him like tanking that big ass explosion it'd just be really weird and i understand like you think that it wouldn't do anything to the nine tails i'm pretty sure that it definitely would uh just because like a sage was, love like a massive sage thing debates. on like bent the nine tails tail doesn't mean that Jiraiya would be able to stop kieran with a fucking just like one rasengan the thing is it would like if the kieran hit the rasengan it would cause it to like it would definitely like dispel it and Jiraiya would still tank the bulk of the explosion even then i don't think it would just cause the lightning to just dissipate that would right. be really weird <laughs> i can't see any way for Jiraiya to tank it you know sage mode makes him really impressive but i don't think it gives him some sort of like Fucking titanium the perfected skin sage mode it. disease, so it's like... That's my point of view, though. Uh, he definitely has higher durability with sage mode, as shown, like, when Naruto, like, when he... But when nothing, he like, fucking... Yeah, but Naruto's that, sage you know mode is... I mean? Perfected. Well, yeah, he's definitely not tanking jutsu in base form. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, or I mean in like stage mode, he's just definitely not yeah. like tanking a chidori to the chest or something like something crazy. Yeah. But but oh uh, yeah, what are your thoughts on Five Kage Summit versus Jiraiya? Five Kage Summit. Um, we know that wasn't me again. <laughs> Man, that's a that's a different question because you know he has. Less Jiraiya wouldn't really be able to get close to Sasuke because like even the Raikage couldn't stop a Matarasu from hitting it. Like yeah. Sasuke yeah. just used the Matarasu as a shield, and even the Raikage like couldn't do anything about it. He was so yeah. pissed. He was just like, "Yo, fuck you! You think you're faster than me?" Yeah. And then he gave up his fucking arm. For instance, Sasuke did react to the Raikage with just, I believe, just his Sharingan. Was he using Megekyo when he dodged that Don attack? He dodged the elbow bolt with his base Sharingan, so that's yeah. another thing. Sasuke yes. would probably be able to dodge, He's like, all of Jiraiya's, really fast. like, <laughs> melee attacks. I, I believe it's actually stated that base Sharingan Sasuke actually had, like, a colder or chakra than CMT. It wasn't better. He had a colder chakra because, like, he, he was just angrier. 
Well, yeah, it, like it wasn't that emotion he was, like, drive. She, she was a... saying something along the lines of he just feels like a what more video was that? Like, Sasuke versus Naruto. Yeah. Yeah. person, even than when he was in CM2. And the only reason she brought up CM2 is because CM2 like fucks with your personality, as shown with like Jirobo becoming like a fucking like you know like Jirobo, Sakon, <laughs> Taiyuya, and uh, Kitomaru all became like really weird like cannibal freak fucking Satanists <laughs> when they went CM2. So she was just like, yeah, it makes him act a lot. More more edgy than when he can see him too. It wasn't edgy. really saying anything about power. I think CM2 Sasuke is way faster than base 5 Kage Summit Sasuke. Yeah, uh, and then with the Mageki charging on, he gets even faster. And the thing yeah. about Sasuke, the 5 Kage Summit, he was getting much, much more powerful as things went on as he unlocked yeah. <laughs> Completely shit on Donzo. Donzo being the same guy that was like with, uh, I believe with one Sharingan, he was capable of stealing Shisui's eyes and possibly beating him. I don't even know if he had one Sharingan. He didn't have Shisui Sharingan implanted then, so. Yeah, uh, and that's the same Donzo that was able to, you know, hurt Shisui. Uh, What do you think about Jiraiya versus that Donzo? Like, with all that Izanagi shit, I I really don't think Jiraiya's walking away from that one. No. Man, that was was a really hacked battle. I mean, I know. It was both of them using crazy, like, war. World Ender hacks. It was so stupid. Not like, oh, Jiraiya's stronger. He wins. Well, it's like, well, I mean, so was Sasuke Susano. Like, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Gonzo was literally fucking immortal. <laughs> yeah, like there's there's Sorry, different like, concepts. It I turns mean, out it, my friend's yeah, been in it. That's that's where that's where like, Naruto battles become so really kind of like uh, because scaling the end goes of the video, like so out I'll... the window when you talk about stuff like this. That's why I think yes, Sasuke yeah. and Jiraiya because like Jiraiya is like stronger by a decent bit, but I think. Sasuke is fast enough to avoid a shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, I completely well, forgot about the Raikage. I should have brought that up in the heavy discussion. And then you've got, like, all this other shit he was pulling off against Hanzo. Or like, Hanzo. Uh, not fucking Hanzo. Jesus, that would be... <laughs> Danzo. Danzo. Where Danzo <laughs> fired out, like, fucking, like, 50 wind bullets. And Sasuke dodged all of them except for one on some Matrix shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a little bit hard to say exactly how strong Donzo is in base. Um, we just know that he's definitely yeah. he's definitely Kage level. But other than that, yeah. I think it pretty much well, sums yeah, up. They didn't our they? Well, well, you Dons- never said what do, what do you think Jiraiya versus oh, Kage, him Kage status. status. Mm. I mean, I definitely think that if Jiraiya doesn't start in Sage mode, uh, yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> <it's> <laughs> to <open> it breaks. <laughs> Slams like, yeah. him with the Susano like, fist. Bro, GG. I could totally see Jiraiya running away, trying to get Sage mode like across the bridge, and Sasuke like snipes him with the Susano. <laughs> yeah. And like, the thing is, Sasuke's durability in the Five Kage Summit should not be ignored because no. he tanked a Liger bomb with the rib cage. And Darui yeah. was like, Sasuke is gonna die. Nobody survived the Liger bomb. And like all the Raikage did was like put him on the ground, and it blew up the whole floor. I don't want to hear anybody telling me, yeah, Jiraiya is uh, physically stronger than the Raikage. Like, for Karin instance, said he had tailed beast level chakra, dude. Relax. All we know about, um, you know, Sas- Sasuke versus Naruto before the five come is that Zetsu said, oh, you know, Naruto's stronger than you right now. Yeah, but, but, then, but then, no like, Susano. But then anyone it's can like, say anything to anyone. Susano and it becomes a fuck yeah. ton stronger. And there's a right. possibility, a slim possibility, that his. Base Sharingan is now stronger than CM2 after the B fight. Yeah. No, I don't want to. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't really think so. It's just like there's no basis for that, and it doesn't make any sense. If so, it'd just That's be if you. Yeah, if you take Karin's statement or whatever. I mean, but with the Susano, it's a completely different ballpark, yeah. and we do know that you know Itachi, and just his you know base you know MS was capable of swapping hands with Bijou Naruto. Yeah, and it's like uh, well, when the Susano came out, like at this stage of the game, like you you died pretty much if you yeah. stayed there before uh-huh. like their Susano ran out. Like seriously, like Sasuke with his full Susano out was terrifying. Yeah, definitely. Like yeah. Kakashi was shitting himself, dude. Like needed a full blown diaper change. He saw this shit and he was like, "Why? <laughs> I change. taught you Chidori. What did I do?" Wrong? <laughs> and then, like the only reason Kakashi was still alive is. Because Sasuke's Susano. Yeah. Like, the, the thing is, Sasuke's stamina is crazy too. He ran through five, well, four Kage. The Suchi Kage about molested him and Obito <laughs> saved him. But he ran through four Kage, uh, you know, including Donzo. Then he ran through <laughs> Sakura and Kakashi and then Naruto. And it was base Naruto who's like fodder, but still, he, like, that's fucking crazy. 
Yeah, without a doubt. I definitely think that uh, Five Kage Summit would win. I actually think that, uh, in my personal opinion, that Mangekyo Sharingan Sasuke would actually be somewhat of a match for Sage Mode Naruto. Now, personally, yeah. I think Sage I was Naruto trying, would win. I was trying to tell you this the other, like this other time. I was like, what do you think about Kage Summit versus Sage Mode? And you were like, I think Naruto shits on him. I but, still think Naruto yeah. wins just based off his but, feats with the Night Terror. Right, yeah, I think like, he probably could too, but it's definitely not shitting on Sasuke. Yeah. Like, you, it would definitely be a much yeah, he's not fight. completely yes. overwhelming him. It would definitely, and then EMS Sasuke, without a doubt, beats him. <laughs> <laughs> no competition. <laughs> so. Fucking Anton Arrows, dude. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, uh, fucking. <laughs> I can't even think of like a joke argument that would be funny, like because you can't, like, there's nothing Dry could do. Like he'd just like, what, what? Yeah. <laughs> what would, I don't know what Dry would even do. <laughs> so he just makes his little hair thing like as a as shield and just gets fucking one shot by the Susano. But anyway, uh, I guess that sums up Jiraiya versus Sasuke. So a, a lot of people were asking me to have an actual debate and not bring a yes man on who would just that was cool. I like that. Like, yeah, yeah, so yeah, Sasuke, your body, <laughs> Jiraiya. <laughs> that's a good point, Swag. <laughs> I agree. So <laughs> hopefully, this. Pleased you guys, you know. I, I just like figured, it. hey man, maybe people would like it if I debated Seth on this because I know a lot of people disagree with me. I know there's gonna be a lot more people being like, "Eh, hey, fuck you, swag." She, Seth, Seth, you wrecked you, man. You suck at debate. Mm. All that trip. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was it was good. I think we both, you know, established our points. So I think it's and it, it was really headcanon reliant. Like that was the problem. Like it's like like I've seen you debate before, and there's a whole lot more like concrete shit. That the, like there's nothing really to like say back against. Yeah. But like here with Naruto, it's so confusing because you have so yeah. many different to saying Inter so many different things. Interversal battles. What I notice is like interversal battles are are more complex. They're more like. Can you imagine if Sasuke uh, came out and series. explained uh, and why? For example, me versus Chuck. You know, Broly versus Cell. It's almost like two different series. Yeah, like the that movies, and then so you had the actual amazing. candidate. They didn't really scale to each other, and that's why it was like really <laughs> easy to argue. So. Can you imagine if he started right, a YouTube like, channel, start doing stuff like, like this, oh, and be like, "Well, you can't really yeah, argue because he's the guy." Yeah, again, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I mean, I I don't even know why I'm asking. It's just gonna be a fuckload of memes, like being upvoted. But whatever, uh, go check out Seth. We just made a video on Minato versus Toby Rama. Let cool. me know what you guys think about that. Till my next video, I'll talk to you later. So I can get out. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was good, that. I preferred the like, whole debate way where it's just like two people talking. That was cool, especially having Seth on. They seem to have like, a really good rapport with each other. And it's what, it's <coughs> funnier that way then um yeah just like swag just talking by himself um but yeah it was cool they had one person doing one one doing the other arguing and then doing different scenarios with levels that are comparable to blah blah, blah and then bringing it around that was cool that did not feel like a 50 minute video it was, again that was quite enjoyable um it actually woke me up i think <laughs> but um yeah i'm gonna have to go because like these text messages seem quite Im in, in the group chat, like, I think my friend's been in a in a car crash. Uh, not a serious one. But I'm making it sound like we were like she's just like someone's hit a car. And anyway, that was cool. Sorry guys, but I'm, it's completely thrown me off. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. Um, especially if you got to the end. Wow, <laughs> it's a long video. I totally understand if you guys don't stick around for the whole thing. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. What do you guys think of that? What do you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe if you haven't already, leave comments down below, let me know what I should watch and discuss it in future videos, and I'll see you guys, all of you guys, next time.